Kara Gott Warner, editor of Creative Knitting Magazine, and today we're going to work the third in a three-part series for our knit along for the Stitch Sampler Slippers designed by Lori Gagne. And if you're familiar with what we've been doing so far um, for this knit along, we've already worked two stitch patterns and um, we're having a whole lot of fun on the Ravelry's Ravelry fans page and so here are the slippers that we're making and you can choose from three different stitch patterns and so today I'm going to show you the whelk stitch and I have a swatch for that right here and here's what it looks like it's a really um, it's a really uh, very simple pattern and it's a series of slip stitches which you can see on the front of this fabric. And a slip, working a slip stitch is great because it's easy to do and it creates a very dense and durable fabric which works perfectly for slippers and rugs and washcloths too. So first, before we get started working a few rows together, go on over to creativeknittingmagazine.com and download this free copy of the pattern, um, which is available for as long as the summer issue of Creative Knitting Magazine is on sale. So hop on over there, grab yourself a copy, and join me back here in a few. Okay, so let's get started, and we'll cast on a total of 25 stitches, and we need two stitch markers. So we'll practice on these 25 stitches. And we are, what this uh, equates to is the stitch pattern, the multiple, worked uh, four times. So it's four stitches times four is 16, plus nine stitches, which are, are our balance stitches. So let's get started and work row one. And we'll work row one, which is our right side. Start off by knitting the first three stitches on this row. And then we want to pick up one of our markers, put the, put the marker on the right hand needle, and then knit three. Pretty simple. Then we're going to work our first slip stitch. We're going to slip our first stitch purl wide, so as if to purl, right? right? So we stick that needle in the front as if to purl with the yarn in back. So if you're looking at your pattern, you will see that that's the case. Slip that stitch to the left hand, I'm sorry, the right hand needle, and then repeat from star in your pattern, which is to knit three, and then slip one stitch, purlwise with the yarn and back. And that's pretty much it until we get to the end of the row, and so we'll just work that way until we get to the last six stitches. Okay, now we're at the end of the row, and we have th six stitches left, so we'll knit three, and now we want to place another marker on the right hand needle. So we have two markers now on, the, on each end of the needle. Place that marker, and then we're slipping three stitches this time, uh, but with the yarn in front. So purlwise, we're slipping, bring that yarn to the front, and slip those three stitches over to the right hand needle, yarn in front. And that completes row one. So let's just jump right in and work row two, just so we can practice a little bit more. And remember, in, well in your pattern you'll see this, but when you come to the markers, just, just slip them when you come to them, that's all. So row two, you'll see it just says to, to knit six, and you'll understand that you've got to slip that marker, right? So it's two, three. I'm just slip that marker over. Okay, then the next stitch we're going to slip one purlwise, this time though with the yarn in front. So that's something that you really need to pay attention to. Always remember what side your yarn is, your slip, you're holding it either to the front or the back. And then knit three, repeat from star, 
if you're following your pattern, which means we then slip one, yarn is in front, knit three. Again, yarn is in front, run row two, and then knit three again. And that's it. Until we get to the marker. So when we get to the marker, you're working the same way across, and then slip the marker, and then slip three purlwise with the yarn in front, and then that completes row two. So I think that rows one and two should give you a really good grounding. If you take a look at your pattern, you'll see that uh, rows three and four are pretty similar to the first two rows where you're slipping stitches purlwise with the yarn in back as well as with the yarn in front. And you're also knitting stitches and purling stitches. So it's a very simple stitch pattern as you can see here in this swatch. So I hope that you'll have fun practicing and that maybe you'll join us over on Ravelry very shortly to take part in this exciting knit along. Well that wraps things up for this video. I hope you found this demonstration useful. Now head on over to Ravelry.com and join in on our knit along so you can make your very own pair of the Stitch Sampler slippers. See you next time. That could be my, what do you call it? The, the screen? The screen? Opening screen? <laughs> Cut. Cut. Woo! That was tough work. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful and that it inspired you to get working on your new sam stitch sampler slippers. And if you'd like to join other knitters, go on over to Ravelry.com because you can ask questions, you can meet the designer, and get to mingle with other... mingle? Really? Did I just say mingle? Okay. Well, that wraps things up for this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. So head on over to Ravelry.com and join in on the fun and 